Ha! For real. Eat a 40 pound bag of dog food a month. Yeah. Yeah. I got fish, buddy. Got him? Nice one? No, I broke the perch. I broke the rod. That's a little bass. Yeah. I broke. Yeah. Where? Right there. Flit right there. What Fuck the Fuel was coming off. Uh, it's that cold, bud. Plastic breaking. <laughs> huh? I thought it was a perk. <laughs> it looks like one. it's cold enough for. <laughs> I got to take a picture of this. Heck, it almost looked like a small mouth. <laughs> a little. You said no fish, bud. That's it. What? Broke freaking rod. So I said I'm done that jig all day. <laughs> <laughs> I just take a little jig then. <laughs> Yeah, I thought it was a half a jig now. <laughs> Small as it was. I can't believe I broke that rod. <laughs> Neither can I. That's when you know it's cold and breaking the rod. Yep, snap. Don't say that. Well, snap, I'm about to snap it. Well, it's that plastic. I set the hook and I felt the reel moving. I'm like, what in the. Yo, look. <laughs> that ain't good. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I had to duct tape hey. to get home. <laughs> he flipped them. I told you these lightning rods. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, you asked about the lightning rods. There you go. Make a couple. <laughs> Jason calls again. You catch anything? Yeah, we got one to make a snap. Oh, I'm getting a call now. It's either it's either your uncle or Jason. Oh, it's Jason. Hello. Yeah, we just caught one. We just caught one. <laughs> Broke the rod, dude. It's not the rod. It's not the rod, dude. Michael set the hook and the fucking reel fell off the rod. He caught it though. <laughs> you catch anything? Two. That's tough too, dude. Flash on these big legs. Cause these legs are pretty well. Yeah. It's more pretty nice to have them. Got him. That's a nice one. Yeah. I'll bite with his. That's probably that one that busted. These old tore up. Dude, steal this. Is it warm? Hand warmer, dude. Jeez. I'm gonna send a picture of it. Give him three. Alright. I said he saw it tore up on it one time. That's it. Throw him a jig the rest of the day. He ate it good. Oh, this one, that one's not four pounds. No, I thought it was small. Oh. I thought it was good too. Exactly. You don't want to wait, I got scared. He's tapped up. A little bit, it's hard to get face up. That fing guy's not sure like mine did. Yeah. Mine oh. looks disgusting. Everyone else is just like that little one. I just said the one I caught did. Mine looks fing disgusting. I'd say it's pushing forward. I'm saying four, four, six. I'm saying four, 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 I'm saying four, four, three. I was gonna say four and a quarter. Well, I'm laughing. They find that. Yeah,
All right, guys, we are hanging out here in the garage. It's been a couple weeks, actually, since um, me and my buddy went fishing. Um, we filmed this video, but I just wanted to kind of talk about the day and kind of what's been going on with fishing in my world because it's been nightmarish, basically. Um, so the day that we went fishing, um, we were actually supposed to fish tournament. Um, the tournament was supposed to blast off at 7, registration was supposed to be at 6.30. Um, we waited at the boat ramp till 6.30 and no one showed up. So uh, me and my buddy and another guy we knew, good friends with, was there. We decided to just go out on the water and fish, um, have a little fun, just see if we could catch some. Um, a little story, backstory about the lake, um, Seneca and all of the lakes around me have been flooded for a really, really long time. We got a whole bunch of rain and it had the lakes, um, the closest lake to my house, which is Dillon Lake, was up 30 foot above Summer Pool. Um, Seneca is, a lot of these lakes are flood, um, flood control lakes, Seneca is no different. Um, Seneca was up like four and a half, five feet above summer pool, um, so much so that it was flooding the roads around um, the lake, and it was that way for two weeks. Um, even when we fished this day um, that you watched in this video, the lake was still up a foot and a half um, above summer pool. Um, we have experienced a lot of temperature change. We've had a lot of warm weather, but we've also had a lot of cold weather, a lot of rain. The day that you saw us out fishing on the water, um, it was probably one of the coldest days I've fished this year. The water um, itself was in the upper 50s. Um, and when you got some back into some of the shallow water, it was pushing 60 degrees. And then uh, the air temperature was in the low 50s and with the wind chill it was down into the 40s it was really really cold um, and we just couldn't find fish um, before we had all the flooding over at Seneca um, I was actually catching fish pretty good um, I was really looking forward to the tournament and we had all the flooding and then since the flooding I've really really struggled to catch fish and that's I, I'm assuming it has a lot to do with the water being so high for so long um, and unfortunately right during prime fishing right during when fish should be pushing up shallow to spawn um, pre-spawn that stuff so kind of unfortunate there and we're gonna yeah I hope you enjoyed the video um, unfortunately we didn't get a lot of good fish catches but you did get to see me snap a rod um, what ended up happening was a real seat that, that broke on my rod the reel as when I set the hook the real seat the nut you screw down to hold the reel on it snapped and uh, as I was fighting the fish I was trying to hold the reel on the rod to reel the fish in so that was kind of interesting made for good content I think um, and what was ironic about that was my the the guy I was fishing with my buddy he asked me right but probably five minutes before that he was like how do you like that rod and well he found out how much I like that rod so um, yeah it was good content um, like I said overall hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for watching